So in my last video, I showed that a gummy bear burning in pure oxygen burns at over a thousand degrees Celsius for about a minute. And guess what else melts at almost a thousand degrees Celsius? Yep, gold. So I wanted to know, can you melt gold using a gummy bear? Well, that was a question I posed in the comment section of the last video, and boy, did it get a mixed response, with folks even going through thermodynamic type calculations and showing that it could melt 100 grams of gold, not just one. Indeed, about 80% of the people who expressed an opinion said, yes, they thought that it would melt gold. So now is the moment of truth. What do you think? Can a gummy bear, burning so bright that you can't even look at it, melt gold? Well, you're about to find out. Okay, so that pretty little thing there is one gram of almost pure gold. It's 99.99% pure gold. The gold should weigh a pretty decent one gram, and it does. It comes in with around 10 milligrams of one gram. And our gummy bear weighs about 2.3 grams-ish. Now, if you check out the ingredients on a pack of gummy bears, you'll find that they're about 70% by weight sugar, which means that there's about 1.7-ish grams of sugar in a gummy bear. Now, previously, when I was burning the gummy bear, what I was using was this pipe coming from the oxygen concentrator, and this blows out pure oxygen, or very nearly pure oxygen, from this tube here. And that's great in the, you know, once this catches on fire, gummy bears won't really burn in, a, in air, but in pure oxygen, they burn very well. So once this is on fire, you blow the oxygen on it, and it burns very hot indeed. So, uh, what you really want, if you're going to get the most heat out of this and have a decent chance of melting the gold, what you're going to want is to have this immersed in a pure oxygen atmosphere, like that one which you really can't get just by blowing oxygen onto it, because of course once it comes out it diffuses and dilutes and, and it, it doesn't burn as hot anymore. So, uh, what we're going to need is a tank full of oxygen. So, this is my tank and it's going to have the gummy bear and the gold in here and I'm going to fill this up with pure oxygen. Now, oxygen is a vicious oxidizer. Almost everything burns incredibly well in oxygen, which is why I don't want anything else in this tank that will burn other than the gummy bear. So I don't want to put my hand in here, not so much because it'll burn, but if I do, it'll, it'll disrupt the atmosphere. So I need a remote ignition. I'm going to go for an electrical ignition. But of course, this is a problem in that most of the wires here are actually coated with plastic. And if this catches fire in a in a pure oxygen atmosphere, it'll, it'll go up in seconds. So I don't want anything that'll burn in there because it was, it was something very similar to this that killed the first three Apollo astronauts uh, when their cabin, which was under a, a pure oxygen atmosphere, caught fire. So I'm gonna be using a bare copper wire like this to uh, run the ignition system. So I'm gonna have this connected to the power supply. That's this thing here. Then I'm gonna have some nichrome resistance wire that's gonna go through the gummy bear and that's gonna light it up. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is get the Mommy, resistance like wire. Stop him. He's gonna put a wire through my oh, ah, ooh, that it hurts. Please God, somebody that's my ear. Don't wiggle it. That's my brain. Oh, I get that tingles. Cool. Too easy. There you go. Now we need to hook that up to the power supply. Oh, now I have a pierced that. That's kind of cool. Hey, this guy likes giving free piercings away with metals that conduct electricity. So it's at times like this that you find the first real problems so as they jack up the bolts. There we go. No! Now I just got this. It does. It melts way before you actually really you know, you're gonna crank the bolts and it just melts off before it catches fire. So that's obviously going to be a problem. So we're going to need some other method of doing this. It's along these lines. There we go. That's what you need. That's exactly what's needed. That would work. Ooh, something smells like candy floss. That's enough to make it catch fire. 
That's Reminds me of going to the fair when I was a kid. Next, we've got to get the gold into the gummy bear. Hey, has anyone seen my brother, Bertie? I did think of various ways of doing this. Of course, if I just put it on top like that, uh, the oxygen will struggle to get to the bit under the gummy bear, and I'm not so sure it'll work that well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the cut the gummy bear open and put it in that way. What did he just say? Hopefully that will work. Now, in stuff into gummy is of course quite difficult. Thankfully I've got some rather sharp oh, knives oh, here. That's a big knife! Oi! Oi! That's my belly! Ow! Yeah. Stop poking me with that! Oh. Yeah, I should do it. Do it. No, I think we're done. I couldn't be in more no, pain! I think we're done. Super. So now, with any luck, the gold... Well, at least I get the gold though. That's quite nice. We'll go into the gummy bear! Super. Absolutely super. Beautiful. Who's got that bare bling belly right, button so now? Messed up. Okay. All right. So oxygen's been going in there for about 10 minutes. Ooh, gold and a free trip to an oxygen bar. I like this place. And we're going to hook up the electrodes. Uh, electrodes? Five, four, three, two. Ooh, ice and warm. Ow! Amazing, absolutely amazing. Completely unmelted. I'm gonna have to try this again. Okay, so here we are for round two. So what I've done this time is I have the oxygen blowing directly onto the gummy bear. So it's gonna be in an entirely oxygen atmosphere here. But I think the reason it was burning so slowly last time is you had to wait for the oxygen to sort of swirl around this. So having the oxygen blow directly onto the gummy bear, it's more about actually getting more oxygen flow over the gummy bear than actually having a higher purity of oxygen in there. So we will see how this does for us. There we go. Yeah, we might be in with a chance this time. We might be in with a chance. It's too bright to look at. Ah, there it is, I can see it. Too bright, Jesus. And it's my god, the whole thing is cooked. Jesus, I don't believe the heat that comes out of that. Not so sure. That might have just been the bend. Gold's quite soft, soft stuff, you see. That might just be the bend from when I was pushing it in. Oh, I think it's completely unchanged. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, we're up. Oh, it's my work. This my work. Oh my word, this is hot. Oh 
Oh my word, if this doesn't work, I'm not sure what will. Oh my word, that's so bright. And it's unchanged, Jesus. It's impossible. Okay, so my reckoning why the gold wasn't melting is gold is actually a pretty conductor of heat. So what was happening is, even though locally there was enough heat to melt the gold, the gold was conducting the heat away and keeping the gold cool. So what I'm gonna do this time is, gold's actually pretty soft stuff. So I'm gonna uh, just cut a nice thin strip of gold here. Something along those lines. Yay, there we go. There we have one nice little piece of gold. So, now we just need to get that into the gummy bear. My there suggestion is somewhere in the head region should do it. So, I'm not quite sure how malleable the stuff is. Oh, that's good. So that is almost perfect. Okay, so there's the gummy bear with a spike in his head. You, this time I've modified it slightly, such that I'm going to be using a high voltage generator to create the spark to ignite it. I should do that. Beautiful. So easy. Too easy. Now, that's the question. Can I actually do the gold? Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. It looks to me like he's undone. You're going to be kidding me. No way. No way! Completely virginal. Well, I'll be absolutely chiggered. Okay, so if at first you don't succeed, try something with chocolate. So the thing about gummy bears is there's quite a lot of water in them, which might be cooling it down somewhat. What we're going to do is we're going to take some Chocolate. Oh, no, there's a stuff cut. Why? So I'm going to try and melt coal with chocolate. So there's a lot more oil in this, so hopefully it'll burn hotter. But we will see. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Too bright to look at straight away. Oh, it smokes that much brighter than the, uh, the gummy bear. Oh, that's insanely bright. And I think, I think it's partially melted. I think that might be partial success. It's completely unchanged. That's rather depressing. Okay, so the gummy bear failed me. The chocolate failed me. So now I'm going for the big guns, graphite, um, which is basically charcoal. So I'm just going to cut me off a little piece of graphite. Perfect. That's pretty decent. Now I need a groove in there. So let's cut a groove with the gold. There we go. That's the gold in the graphite. So this is probably the last chance saloon type stuff. Spark me up. Oh, look at that. That arc straight to the uh, the graphite, but is it enough to actually light up?
son of a bitch. When in doubt, chocolate is your friend. So we need to use a chocolate igniter on this. Gonna work? Come on, baby. I think it's going. Are you kidding? Not even that ignited my graphite. Right. This means war. Got it, got it. That's the graphite burning. No flame on it, but it's... Oh, and I melted the gold, I've done it. I've done it. Oh, that's awesome. So that bead there is the gold, sat in the middle. Gold at a thousand degrees. Cool. That's it, I've done it. <laughs> The thing is, if I actually take the oxygen off that, I'm not so sure it's... That's amazing. So it'll take a while now just to clear the oxygen out. So that's how graphite burns. Um, so if I open this up and just... Clear some of the oxygen out, the rate that it oxidises... Now yeah, the gold's solidified already by the looks of things. We'll just... Go down, and that's it. Wow! A melted gold! <clears throat> so the next thing, what is that? Oh, it's a nice little bead. So, there you have it. One little piece of melted gold. Cool. Let's have a gummy bears. I think I'll have that one. Yeah.